Hello everybody, this is James Shore with another Test Driven Development video. So when we last left off, I just finished writing this disaster of a test, and um, it's pass or it's failing in the way I would expect. I think that's the right number. 2,000 um, 2, left plus 200 interest minus 1250 capital gains tax. This test is really bad. It's uh, It just doesn't really speak clearly, but I'm going to leave it in for now and try to get it to work and then figure out how to fix it. And I don't know what I'm going to do there yet, but I'm sure I'll think of something. So to implement the capital gains, um, you know, I think what I want to do is let's actually back up a little bit. Okay, so we have passing tests. I think it might be interesting just to ask the question of how much of this uh, amount is principal and how much is capital gains. So let's start with that. Test principal. And principal, principal. Um, hmm. So if we put in $7,000 of principal or capital gains, then uh, assert equals our principal amount should be 3000 Pretty straightforward. And I think what we need to do actually here is probably call that starting principal, otherwise what happens when we withdraw stuff. But anyway, we expect a 3,100. Now we just return starting balance minus capital gains amount. Yes. Um, I don't trust that. So running all my tests? Yes. Okay. Now let's rename this to uh, starting principal. Okay, and let's move that up. Here. All right, now that we've got that, um, maybe we can ask the question that if If we have a starting principle of 3,000, and then we withdraw some, say we withdraw 2,000, uh, what's our ending principle going to be? And that should be 1,000. I don't know if all of this is necessary, but it does seem to be breaking down the problem nicely. Um, oops. So, if it needs to be cleaned up, I will do that. Still have that niggly little primitive obsession. I'm leaving it in because I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> uh, as you've surely discovered by now, I don't know what I'm doing. No, I. what I mean is that... Um, I don't know where I'm, where this code is going, and if I lock in too much into objects at this point, then it will make it harder to change. But if I wait too long to change those integers into actual objects, then going through and fixing it all up is going to be more of a pain. So it's a balancing act. Hopefully I'm hitting it right. So ending principle expected 1,000, but was, uh, but was 0, which is because of hard-coded this. So here's an interesting question. What if, rather than having withdraw, um, subtract an amount, what if we just keep track of how much we withdraw throughout the course of the year? Which will raise the question of uh, uh, multiple withdrawals in a year. Let's just mark that as to do. So, let's see if I can code this up. Right now we should have a failing test. We're expecting 1,000, what's zero? And 
I guess what I'm going to do, just to get this to pass, is... Hmm. It's not very complicated, but I'm trying to figure out how to do it in small steps. Let's just do this. This dot withdrawn equals amount. Total withdrawn, and let's make that into, there we go, there we go, equals zero. That's not going to work yet, because I haven't, ooh, uh, boy, I broke something else. Yeah. Let's fix that. Okay. So expect, ending principle expected 1,000 below 0. Um, ending principle is going to equal starting principle minus withdrawn. Total withdrawn. Which raises the question of... How about... Plus. No. Okay, what did I do wrong? Um, oh, I withdrew 2,000. Starting principle minus total withdrawn. I'm withdrawing 1,000 or 2,000. So the end in principle should be 1,000. But instead, it's minus 1,000. Oh, well, that's because we're modifying the starting balance. So if I take that out, now that one should pass, which it does. But now this withdrawing funds occurs at the beginning of the year fails. So um, the ending balance should be... Uh, it... Start amount equals going to be starting balance, and then start minus equals uh, total withdrawn, and then start. I don't know if that worked. Let's find out. Ah, it worked. Okay, good enough. So that's interesting. Okay. I'm going to slow down a moment and think about this. So the starting balance is immutable. This is actually good. I, I kind of want this class to be immutable. It just feels right. So the amount, or somewhat immutable, obviously this isn't really an immutable part, but uh, the starting balance doesn't change as we withdraw. So, um, I wonder, can I make this final? I don't really understand the semantics of final in Java. No, I cannot. Okay, so... Start equals start, start minus equals total withdrawn. Let's rename this. Okay, so I think that's right. Well, let's just rename this to be uh, uh, balance that gets interest. <laughs> oh boy, that's a, that's a terrible name. And it's not really true. I'm going to rename this again to uh, modify start. And then clean it up a bit more by saying starting balance minus total withdrawn. There, that should work. Yeah. Okay. So back at the ranch, we want to have... So the, there's also the question of uh, ending principle when um, more than principle withdrawn. Let's see, ending principle never goes below zero. So if we have our savings account here, 
and we assert equals, and we withdraw. So we have our starting principle of 3,000, withdraw 4,000, and our ending principle should be zero. And it was one, minus 1,000. So int result equals that, and then we're going to return result greater than zero. We will return result, otherwise we will return zero. Okay, that should work. Yeah, and I'm going to turn this around actually. Yeah, I wonder if I want to do a math dot uh, floor. No, min. Greater of two double values, greater of two integer values. Does that read more clearly? Well, it does if you're used to spreadsheets and they use the max function all the time. Um, and it would allow me to do this. Hmm. You know what? I don't. I don't actually think that reads more more clearly. Yeah, it's a wash. We'll call that good for now. All right. Well, we've got a few minutes left. These uh, these little videos. Uh, I'm surprised to see that I'm actually getting some progress. But uh, I tell you, ten to fifteen minutes is not a lot of time. So there's our ending principle. Let's let's see if we can deal with multiple withdrawals in a year. That shouldn't be working because I intentionally didn't code it up yet. I wanted some tests around that to make sure that I did it right rather than just putting it in without any tests. Um, and we're definitely going to have to clean up the tests in here too. Let me make a note on that. Clean up saving account here. All right, let's see if I can get this test in real quick before the end of the uh, video. What are we gonna do? Um, I don't really need to do much more than add a plus sign right there. So I don't need to test much. I just need to test um, multiple withdrawals. It's that simple. So we'll withdraw 2,000 a second time. That means our total is 7,000, which means that our ending balance should be 7,700. Run that test. It fails. It was 8,800 because the second one overwrote it. I had the plus sign there. And there. Pass. All right. Um, I think that we'll have to do for this video. Uh, these are pretty quick. Obviously, I've got some more work to do, but I feel like I'm sneaking up on this capital gains tax thing, and after I clean this up and haven't had a chance to really look at it, maybe that will happen in the next video. I think we'll see that this is starting to come together really cleanly. Pretty soon, once we get the capital gains in, um, I think we're getting pretty close to doing something more than just this one class. This has been kind of basic TDD so far, but it is real. I'm not dumbing it down or anything. I'm showing you what I really do. It's just that starting on a small project, uh, when a project starts out, it is, you know, by definition, small. And uh, so we're doing small things. That's kind of a nice way to ramp up. But we will get into UI. We're going to get into a lot of stuff. So thanks for watching. I will see you next time. And uh, have, uh, have fun. Go, go forth and do some testing.